Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I am here doing my Tuesday tips. And today I'm going to give you some of my favorite tips for doing your best side leg kick series. Specifically, I'm going to give you three places you can check in in your body while you're doing the exercises to make sure that you're staying as stable as you can in your upper body as your legs are doing all the fun moving around for the side leg kick series. So before I get into those, I want to talk a little bit about how you set yourself up for side leg kicks. So when you get into position, there are lots of different places you can do side leg kicks at. Where I'm at now is probably where I do mine most of the time. So you may see me come back to here, but I want to show different, some different variations. You could have your arm out and lay your head on the mat. You could prop yourself up. This kind of puts us into a little side bend position. You could really prop yourself up and be somewhere up here. You could take your hand back behind your head. Um, lots of different places to be. And there's not a right or wrong on that other than it has to work for your body. The goal of our side leg kick series is can we keep our upper body, our head to our hips, nice and stable and still as we do all these fun things with our legs. So we want to put ourselves in a place that we're going to be most successful being able to kind of work on that. All right, so the three places that I love to check in in my body when I'm doing my side leg kick series are number one, my hips. So when we start moving our leg forward or back, or we start doing things like lift or lower or circle around, right? Our goal is can we keep our hip bones, our hips stable and still? So that means when my leg goes forward, I don't want my hip to roll forward. When my leg goes back, I don't want it to rock forward. I really want to hold it still. If you don't know, like if you've checked in and you're like, I'm not sure, this thing I'm doing right here, putting your hand on your hip, can be super helpful, right? As you're doing any of the side leg kick series. Another great trick if you're at home is to line up the wall directly behind you, right? Line up, swing your feet out front, put a wall wherever you want to be. Use the wall to stabilize your back and your hips. Keep them on the wall as you go forward. You won't be able to kick maybe as far back as you normally do, but you'll still get good range, right? And notice, like when you lift your leg, is your hip holding still? When that wall's behind you, it's really hard to let your top hip roll back when you do your lift and lower, which is probably one of the most common things we do um, when you're coming up and down. So check in with your hips, right? You're only gonna lift your leg if you're lifting up as high as you can go and not feel like your hip is gonna collapse back towards your rib cage, you don't want your hip to roll backwards, any of that stuff. That's your number one place. Next place is your rib cage, right? So you may, if you're laying like me, you may have your rib cage on the mat or if you're laying down here, if you're up here, then your rib cage is up in space, but you still wanna be aware of it and what is it doing? Right. So when you are swinging your leg forward and back for a sweep, is the weight the same or do you feel yourself roll back and forth on your rib cage? The goal is could we hold completely still? Could we figure out how to use our muscles right, to hold still? So check in there as you're doing them. Third place is my favorite place and I think it's the place that we often like forget about because it seems really far away from our leg, I think, when we're doing this exercise. Um, it is your shoulders. So are you stabilizing your shoulders as you do this side leg kick? So your hand is gonna press in. For me, this just feels like engagement around my shoulder blades. Like, could I feel my shoulder blades? Like, I feel like it's, in my body, I feel like I'm just using like these little muscles, it's work, but I'm using little muscles to, to kind of put my shoulder blades in place and leave them there, right? And then when I start doing my swinging my leg front to back, I'm just checking in, like, can I keep those muscles engaged, right? If I'm lifting and lowering. And it's kind of this subtle little work, but oftentimes what I see is 
we start doing all this stuff and then we're like our shoulders are round forward and then we lose the stability we start kind of moving through here um, we don't have kind of our good body position as we do it so ideally shoulder blade stable and that could be whether your hand is here or if your hands behind your head right in any position your hand could be behind your head but same thing is my shoulder blade kind of holding in place or am I doing that thing where I scrunch up right if it is holding in place it is gonna help your body as you do that back and forth to not rock and move so those are your three places that you're gonna check in when you do your side leg kicks hips are they staying stacked? Are they staying still? Rib cage. Am I rocking front to back? Can I hold still? Do I need to make my movement smaller so I can hold it still? And then third place, those shoulder blades. Are you stabilizing them and using that to help you hold still in your body while you do any of the fun things that we do with our legs? All right. I hope that this was helpful. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if you try it out. And the next time you do side leg kicks, I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you again for Tuesday Tips.